Hi, this is Moni from BTE Magic. So I recently noticed that except for the messages that I'm already receiving from BTE aspirants, I'm also getting many inquiries and questions from students who are very curious about BTE and wanted to find out more information about it, especially from a lot of Vietnamese students. So that's why in this video, I'm going to go through some basic uh, and important facts about BTE academic as well as the test structure. So what is PTE? PTE stands for Pearson Test of English and it is a computer-based test that is used to evaluate English level of non-native speakers. Uh, the other tests that are quite similar that you might already know are, are IELTS, TOEFL, TOEIC and CAE. So PTE was created by Pearson PLC, which is the world publishing and educational company. Uh, it is also an official partner of uh, GMAT, which is accepted worldwide as an entrance requirement for MBA programs. PTE Academy is accepted worldwide by thousands of different universities, including the reputable one like Harvard Business School. But more importantly, it is 100% accepted by Australian and New Zealand government for visa applications, uh, not only for the permanent residency, but also for students visa, for working visa, and for other types of visas. Okay. It's actually very easy and very simple because all the test bookings can be made online and you just need to create an account on the pearsonpte.com uh, and you'll need to input some personal details to verify uh, your identity and then you can select the test date and PTEs are available throughout the year so pretty much um, there are some centers where you can book it every day you does PTE test. So during three hours, you will be assessed based on four total skills, which are speaking, writing, um, reading, and listening. One thing that is very interesting about PTE is that all the skills are linked to each other. Okay, so even if you're doing uh, one skill, you can still get um, marks and scores for the other ones. Speaking is the first part of the test and it's very important and the two primary aspects that you'll be judged on are pronunciation and fluency. You will do all your speaking part with the computer so basically you will be speaking to a computer and all your answers will be recorded and then the um, computer will mark your answers. So in the first task you have to look at the text and then in 35 seconds of preparation you have to read this text aloud and you have 35 seconds to complete this one in the second part you will hear a sentence and then you have to repeat the sentence exactly as you hear it and you can only hear this sentence once in the third part, you have to look at the graph or any image and then in 25 seconds after preparation, you have to speak in the microphone and describe in detail what the graph is showing and you will be given 40 seconds to complete this task. The next task is retail lecture where you will hear a short lecture. After listening to the lecture, you'll have 10 seconds to prepare and then you'll have to speak into the microphone and retell what you just heard from the lecture. You'll be given 40 seconds to finish this task. The last one is answer short question. In this task, you will hear a short question and then after that, you will have to give a simple and short answer and it can be one or few words. The next part is writing. Writing consists of two main parts, summary written text and writing essays. So in summary written text, you will be given a passage. You have to read the passage and then summarize it using one sentence. And your answer should be between 5 to 75 words. The second one is essay writing. You will have 20 minutes to plan, write and revise on an essay about the topic given. And you have to write between 200 to 300 words. 
writing in PTE is actually the easiest part compared to any other ones because they mainly look at your grammar, your spelling, your vocabulary and your written discourse and you don't have to come up with some crazy or like you know sophisticated ideas and um, any like crazy vocabulary and you'll still be able to score very high in writing. The third part of the test is reading. The reason for time fluctuation is because sometimes you're getting 15 questions and sometimes you're getting 20 questions. So if average time for each question will be two minutes, um, so obviously uh, you'll need to manage your time really well. And another thing is that you can't skip questions. Once you click next, you can't go back. So you need to make sure that you answer the, the questions before you move to the next one. First one is fill in the blanks. You have to read the text with blanks and click on each blank and then you have to choose the word from the list of the words given. The second one is multiple choice questions, multiple answers. So you have to read the text and answer the questions by selecting all of the correct response and there will be more than one correct response. In the third task, you will be given the text in the boxes and then they are placed in random order. Your task is to restore the original order by dragging the text from the left to the right hand side in the correct order. The first one is multiple choice questions, single answers. You have to read the text and answer the multiple choice question by selecting the correct response and only one response is correct. The last one is fill in the blanks where you have to read the text and select the words that are missing. You need to drag the words from the box below to the appropriate place in the text. After the reading, you will have 10 minutes optional break. I always recommend to take this break because listening is actually the hardest part in the test. You want to stay really focused, so always go out for your toilet break or to have some water and then come back to do your listening part. And this one is also very intense in terms of time management. You will have to be very careful because during the audio, you are not allowed to skip to the next one. The first part is summarize spoken text where you will hear a short lecture and then after you have 10 minutes to write a summary which is between 50 to 70 words. In the multiple choice questions, multiple answers, you have to listen to the recording and select all the correct response. You have to choose more than one correct response. In fill in the blanks, you will hear a recording and you have to type the missing words in the blanks. The next one you have to hear a recording and then you have to click on the paragraph that is the best summary of the recording. The fifth task is multiple choice questions and single answer. In select missing word you have to hear a recording and then you have to choose the words at the end of the recording after the beep. In highlight incorrect words, you have to listen to the recording and you have to click on the words that are different from the recording. The last one is write from dictation. You will hear a sentence and then you have to type the sentence in the box exactly as you hear it. A lot of people might find that write from dictation is the hardest part in the listening and it might be true but it also depends on how you how well you practice this one please make sure that you complete right from the station and so which means you have to be very careful with your time management so it was a brief outline for the newbies but of course if you're already studying PTE you can share this video to, to, with your friends who are still new to the test I'll be sharing more information and more tips for PTE in my next video so please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I've also included all the links in the box below so please follow our pages and thank you so much bye